Hi all. I wanted to talk with you about why am I a parent to, to a disabled child? Basically, I can't recall where this where this inspiration came from, but basically, you know, I think in some ways we have to not underestimate why we have disabled children. You know, there is always a purpose with everything, because we could we could easily have a we could easily have a have a a disabled child because just to strengthen us as human beings, or to or to bring us the strength that we never knew existed, and and and. Uh, for example, I've got the one about David Cameron's son, Ivan, who who died who died at the age of six, six years old. And I mean you can read the article yourself, it's still there online. Just type in on the search engine. David Cameron's son death and you'll find it you should should find it on the second second paragraph of the of the ad so in I just tell you what it says in in a, in a small part of the article where it says it says the tragic child the tragic child who made David David human Cameron said Ivan's diagnosis hit him like a freight train but he he and Samantha found inner strength to get through it. So you know it's not me that said that so You know, it, for all we know, you know, if we if we have a disabled child, up until up until to to the adults or really old adults, and they, you know, you can you can easily consider it as as a blessing because you don't you don't know even if this this child is mute and they can't speak at all but they can still communicate with you or communicate with the world in some way you know they could they could easily they could easily have a, have a one-way communication or two-way communication with God that some that some people might not understand you know it's a mystery and they could easily be praying for you by what they've heard on the, heard on the streets or what they've heard in the churches so don't so don't underestimate a disabled child you know you got you got you got society or whatever society that we're in or whenever you whenever you're watching this video you got this soci today's society or any or any kind of society although although society changes you know you got you you got them you got you got them preaching to you or the media preaching preaching to you that you know it's a perfect world so we need we need we need perfect parents perfect children and that's not what li that's not what life is all about not everything that we get or receive is is going to be perfect there is going to be some faults or some hidden faults and and it, and and these 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 faults can easily be a blessing to us w without us realizing it and it's always good to seek God's help if you haven't done so already 
you might be think you might be thinking or saying to me, you know, God's not the answer to God's not the answer to my disabled child. But you but we don't always we don't always know the answer to 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 to, to our troubled situations. But it's always good to seek help with these things. Don't don't just don't just try not to sit there and, and wallow in our own self pity. We should try and do our best to to make the best things out best things out of what we have currently. Just do our best to to look after that child and do our best do our best for that present that present moment and for that present time whilst whilst that child is still alive because who knows that child could could live could live for a long time and whilst that ch the, 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 ch the, the child is still living you know you know I mean to be whilst that child is living it's best to just take care of take care of the child because you, you, you don't want to you don't want to you, you don't want to basically think that you know or believe that you know when 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 the child may 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 the the child may may die young you don't want to don't want to look back at the back at your child's life and think that you know and think that you know I should have looked after him or her in a better way you don't want to have that niggling feeling or that regret that you never looked after your child properly so it's always best to just do your best to look after the, look after your child and not and and not think that you know because he's disabled I'm just going to treat him like treat him like a bit of rubbish or treat her like a bit of rubbish they they're human beings they st they're still human beings so they they need that respect although they're disabled and like, I think I'm I'm not sure if I've said this before but forgive me if I have you never know this this child could be could be pr could be praying for your protection and even if, if if anything your salvation you never know it's it's a mystery because every human being has a spirit and, and, and every human being can talk without actually moving their lips they can keep their, their, their mouths their mouth still their lips still and could easily be praying for you for protection salvation and, and, and blessings so don't so, so don't underestimate your disabled child whatever age they are because they can still understand although they're disabled so yeah that's really all I have to say in this video so take care God bless and peace be with you bye for now